And we're back on our thermodynamic series. And this time, we will talk about kinetic energy. Ang isa sa main types of energy. Hindi ko na patatagalin pa. Let's go! Ang kinetic energy. Alam kong pamilyar na kayo dito sa energy in motion or energy of mass in motion. But we will dive deeper sa kinetic energy. If we want to accelerate an object, then we must apply a force. Applying a force requires us to do work. After the work has been done, energy will be transferred into the object and the object will be moving at a constant speed. The energy transferred is known as kinetic energy and it depends on the mass and speed achieved. Now, how can we calculate kinetic energy? Very familiar tayo sa formula na 1 half mv squared. Pero, alam niyo ba kung saan ang galing ito? If you recall, the kinematic equations of motion, meron tayong formula that looks like this. V squared equals VO squared plus 2AD, where V is the velocity, A, acceleration, and D, distance. At mula dito sa formula na ito, we can have another formula sa acceleration. So now we have A equals V squared minus VO squared all over 2D. Alam naman natin na ang work ay equal sa force times distance. At ang force ay pwede natin paltan ng mass multiplied by acceleration. And then, magkakameron tayo ng mass multiplied sa V squared over 2D times distance. And then, ayun, makakansal natin si distance at magkakameron tayo ngayon ng kinetic energy na equals sa 1 half mv squared. At ito ang derivation ng formula ng kinetic energy. And kinetic energy can be further classified into various types, depending on the type of motion of the objects. Unahin natin ang rotational kinetic energy, or the energy possessed by a body which is moving in circles. Ang isa na lang sa example nito is the planets that revolve around the sun, as rotational kinetic energy. Another example of which are tires, barrels, balls, and other rolling or rotating objects. Now, how do we calculate rotational kinetic energy? Rotational kinetic energy has quite similar equation but with different parameters because it depends on the moment of inertia around the axis of rotation and the angular velocity. Second one is translational kinetic energy. It is the energy possessed by an object moving from one point into another or objects moving on a straight line. A basic example nito is a person running from one point into another or a car in motion and other objects which has mass and a constant speed. Ito, yung simpleng energy na 1 half mv squared ang formula natin. Mandaming nalilito sa kinetic at rotational kinetic energy. Kaya, let's put it this way. At kung tatanungin ko kayo what type of kinetic energy does a moving bicycle have, I will give you 5 seconds to think. Leave a comment of what your answer will be. And the answer is both. A moving bicycle, both, has rotational and translational kinetic energy. It has rotational energy due to its rotating wheel and has a translational kinetic energy due to the motion it is moving in. Now, let's have a sample problem here. A solid cylinder is placed at the top of a 30 degree incline. When released, it freely rolls down. What will be its linear speed at the foot of the incline, which is 1.5 meters below the initial point of the cylinder? And based on the given conditions, ganito ang magiging figure niya. And we can solve this by simply equating energies. Potential equals kinetic energy. Meron tayong potential energy due to the height which the cylinder is in. And kinetic energy, once na mag-roll down na ang ating cylinder. But, ang kinetic energy natin dito is present ang two types, ang translational at kinetic energy. Meron tayong translational due to the direction of the cylinder at rotational once na mag-roll down na ang cylinder. So now we have mgh equals 1 half mv squared plus 1 half i omega squared. But, ang centroidal moment of inertia natin 
sa solid cylinder ay equal sa 1 half mr squared. At ang velocity natin ay equal naman sa r omega or radius multiplied by angular velocity. So now we have mass times gravity times height equals sa 1 half mass multiplied by the velocity squared plus 1 half multiplied by 1 half mass times radius squared na solid cylinder multiplied by v squared over r squared na equal naman sa square ng angular velocity. And then, mgh equals 1 half mv squared plus 1 half multiplied by 1 half equals 1 fourth mv squared. And then, since constant naman ang mass, we can cancel it out. And now we have gravity times height equals 1 half plus 1 fourth equals 3 fourths v squared. And then, 9.81 which is the gravity multiplied by 1.5 which is the initial position of the cylinder equals 0.75 or 3 parts v squared. And now we have a velocity of 4.4 meter per second. I-discuss ko sa inyo ang sample problem na ito upang ipakita sa inyo on how translational and rotational kinetic energy can be. At meron pa tayong third type na kinetic energy, ang vibrational kinetic energy, which is the energy release due to vibration. A basic example nito is a vibrating phone or a jack hammer that possesses vibrational kinetic energy. And that's it, kinetic energy. I hope may natutunan na naman kayo sa akin. Continue learning cause learning never stops. At palagi niyong tandaan, your growth and progress is like kinetic energy. It is only present when moving. So take the first step and make things happen. And trust me, I'm an engineer.